Welcome to InfoD. Today we explore occupational therapy in the neonatal intensive care unit and ICU. Occupational and physical therapists, speech and language pathologists and others that are highly trained and work in the NICU are called neonatal therapists. Usually preterm babies, infants with developmental concerns, abnormal tone, sensory impairments, feeding difficulties and high-risk babies are those that can benefit from occupational therapy in the NICU. So, what does an OT really do in the NICU? Let's take a sneak peek. OTs can assess the infant's neurobehavioral state, assess their motor reflexes, and perform all kinds of developmental tests to figure out what each baby needs. We are trained to appropriately position the infants so that neurobehavioral regulation is promoted. We adapt the environment to promote sensory regulation. An ICU can be a really intense place to be. Too much noise and light, people talking, doors closing and so on. We always educate the new parents on how to care for the fragile baby after the discharge. We promote breastfeeding and guide them through proper feeding techniques. We promote skin-to-skin -skin care, also known as kangaroo care. We do pain management. We provide psychosocial support to new parents, educate them on meaningful activities and suggest suitable toys. And we can educate new nurses and residents, promote neonatal therapy and its benefits. So, is it worth it? Studies suggest that infants that have access to OT in the NICU are discharged earlier and don't readmit so often. Parents have reduced anxiety more confidence and increased self-efficacy. A better parent-infant relationship is ensured through goodness of fit. Developmental concerns are identified earlier and early intervention services are suggested. Thank you for watching InfoT. If you liked the video, feel free to like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more.